I want to take just a couple minutes to show you how to change the location of where these common user folders are. By default, Windows likes to store them on your C drive. If you go under C, there's a users folder. There's a folder usually with your name on it or something similar. And in here, traditionally, would be folders like your music folder, your pictures folder, your desktop, your documents. Well, if you have a smaller or limited C drive and you want to move these folder locations to somewhere else, like a, a different drive, like I like my D drive, I've moved those folders under here. One way to do that is to right click on each one of those folders and click properties, check the location tab, and change it right here. When you do, you'll be prompted to create a new directory if that location isn't already created. And you'll be prompted to move any existing files from the original location to this new location. Let's step through that process just to see that. I will change my desktop directory to no longer be on my D drive, but I'll put it back to its original location to my C drive. And I'm just going to, once I've changed that, I'm just going to click OK. And it'll say, hey, that location on my C drive doesn't exist. Do you want me to go ahead and create that folder? And I'll say yes. And then it'll also say, hey, do you want me to move any existing files or folders from that original location to your new location? And I'll go ahead and say yes. And it takes a second or two, and this window will pop away. But then if I go back to my D drive and under my users folder, I will no longer see that desktop directory but I will see it back in its original spot on my C users Steve directory and it's there now. So I'm going to change it back because I like everything on my D drive, all of these user folders on my D drive. So I'll change it back to my D drive and I'll just click OK. Do you want me to create the location? Yes. Do you want me to move any files or folders? Yes. And I'll click OK. This will pop away. It takes a second or two, and this, this little pop-up window will go away. And then under Steve, Steve directory, I'll see my desktop. So the files and folders that are under each of these locations, I might have a lot of music or a lot of videos. They will now be on my D drive rather than on my limited C drive. I hope that helps you if you're looking for this kind of information.